Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen with Hooked for Hope. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this specific blanket border. This blanket border is beautiful. It has a lot of detail. Every row has different instructions, but don't worry, we will get through this together. I will walk you step by step through the entire process so you're not going to have any problems. When I do explain how to make this blanket border, I'm going to use very generic instructions. That way you can apply this border to any blanket, not just specifically the blanket we made together. Sound good? Okay. If at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push the thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. That way you don't miss any of my videos. I do try to release two new videos every single week covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects, and you're not going to want to miss out. So let's go ahead and dive into what you're going to need to make this border. The border of your blanket is really going to have a lot of personal preference involved. You can use whatever color you want. You can have the whole thing be the same color. You could just bring the color of the actual blanket into the border and use this color for your border also. Um, I actually did two different colors for my border. The white I used to really bring a lot of attention to the colors of the actual blanket. It brings your eye to the blanket and makes everything pop. And then on the very edge of the border, I found a color that I thought very closely complemented the colors within the blanket. So that way it just tied everything all together. The colors that I used were a solid white, and a Karen Simply Soft Berry Blue. Uh, these are a size four weighted yarn. The yarn that I used within the blanket was a size three weighted yarn. It's fine if they're different. I mean, as long as they're pretty close, you wouldn't want to go from a size three to a size five or a size five blanket to a size two border. You know what I mean? As long as they're very close, like this is a three, this is a four. I used the same crochet hook for the blanket and the border both. That was an H8 five millimeter crochet hook. Uh, you're going to need a pair of scissors and a calculator. You're going to need a calculator because this border right here does have a multiple count that you're going to need to take into consideration. Uh, you can make this border on any blanket. There's just a trick and that trick involves using the calculator. So just bring your calculator out, have that handy, and I will show you that trick. Sound good? All right, let's dive into making this border. All right, so like I just said, this blanket border does come in a specific stitch count requirement. This blanket border requires a stitch count of multiples of six plus two. What you're going to do first and foremost is count how many stitches you have on the top of your blanket and then you're gonna count how many rows you have within your blanket. Go ahead and take a second, count how many stitches run along the top, how many, how many rows run along the side, and if you wanna be extra careful because some of us being brand new crocheters, you might also want to count how many stitches run along the bottom that you started with, just in case you may have added a stitch or dropped a stitch in the process and this number and this number are not the same. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and count these stitches real quick. All right, so in this example swatch, I had 28 stitches running along the top and I have 26 rows, okay? So we know the border actually needs to be in multiples of six plus two. So we grab our calculator I know that I have 26 rows, so 26 rows. I subtract the two, that leaves me with 24. And I see, is this in multiples of six? So divided by six, it is, I get a solid number. There's no decimal point. So I know that this border that I wanna put on the side of this swatch, it will work, okay? On the top, right here, I have 28 stitches. So 28 stitches. Subtract two equals 26. Okay, I'm going to see, is this number divisible by six? No, it is not. There is a decimal point. It's saying 4.33. Okay, so I know is C. Okay, so I had 28 
minus 2 is 26. I know that 26 is not evenly divisible by 6. What is the next number up that is divisible by 6? And I know that number is 30. 30 divided by 6 is 5. So 5, 26, 30. 30 minus 26 is 4. I need to add four more stitches in this row to be able to make this border happen. Okay? So if you need to rewind that and replay that over and over to help make sense, you can. Or again, you can just contact me. It's not a problem. Okay. So go ahead and find the color that you want to put on your border. The first color that you're going to add to your border. That white was a little bright. I needed to turn down the, the light so it wasn't so shiny. Okay, so here we go. Got the slip knot on our crochet hook. Looking at our blanket, inserting our crochet hook in the corner, top corner of our blanket. Okay, gonna yarn over, pull through. So now there's two loops on your hook. Pull that one loop through the first loop so there's only one loop on your hook. That's a slip stitch. Okay, you're going to chain one and you're going to put one more single crochet in that space right there. Okay, one. Okay, so I, when doing the math, I found out that I needed to add four stitches on the top to make this border work. So how that's going to work out. You're going to put one single crochet in every space all the way around. And then periodically throughout the, uh, this row, you're just going to add one more single crochet to that same spot. So that is growth number one. Growing stitch number one, and I need a total of four. Okay, so I try to space them out a little as evenly as I can, but then here I'll add one extra stitch in that space. So that's growing stitch number two. And I'll add a stitch in this space, growing stitch number three. And growing stitch number four, where there's two in the same space. Okay, so I, I met my required growth for the border to become possible. We are good. Okay, once you reach the last space or the other corner, you're going to put three single crochets in that corner. One, two, three. Remember, the reason we put three single crochets in the corner is because the first single crochet counts as the last single crochet of this row. The second single crochet is the turning stitch to get us over to this side and then the third single crochet counts as the first stitch of this side okay the sides of the blanket are the trickiest part for borders because you have to be able to identify where each row is if you are working with the essentials baby blanket and sleepy baby in the sides of each one of our rows we either ended with a half double crochet or a chain one, okay? We began each row with a half double crochet also. If your row ends with a single crochet or you have to chain one, you will just put one single crochet in the side of that row. If the last stitch of your row is a half double crochet, you will just put one single crochet in the side of that row. 
If the last stitch of your row was a double crochet, or you had to chain two to get to the next row, you will put two single crochets in the beginning of that row. Because this pattern ended with a half double crochet, I will just be putting one single crochet at the end of each row. So I found right here a single crochet, half double crochet. So I go to the last stitch, which is a half double crochet, and I'm going to put one single crochet right there. Okay. Then I will go down to where I find my next group, which is just going to be diagonal, a single crochet, half double crochet. I will follow that along to the edge of my work, find that half double crochet right there and put one single crochet. Okay. So then I'm going to go down, find the next group, single crochet, half double crochet. Okay. Find the edge right there. Put one single crochet right there. Now I know when I did my number count of how many rows I had, I found out that I have an even number of rows where I don't have to add a stitch. So in my situation, I don't have to worry about adding an extra stitch in any space. Okay. So if that's where I was, find the next single half double, go to the edge. There I go. Okay. Go down, single, half double, one on the edge. Okay. Single, half double, one on the edge. Okay, that's where I was. Single, half double, one on the edge. If when you did your count on your number of rows, you needed to add a stitch in that same space, you would just put one more stitch. Okay. And that would be adding an extra stitch. Go ahead and work your way all the way down to this corner right here and then stop and I'll meet up with you. Okay. Okay, so when we come up to this point right here, when it comes to the very first half double crochet or the very first row of your blanket, you're going to put your three single crochets in that corner. Two, three. In our top row, we had to add four stitches. In our top row here, we had to add four. In my situation, in order to make the count work. So whatever number of stitches you needed to add in your top row is the same number of stitches you're going to need to add in your bottom row. Okay. So I had to add four. So as I go along my stitches, I will want to evenly place four single crochets. Okay, so I'll add one in this same spot right here. So it looks like an increase. There's two single crochets in the same spot. Okay, I'll add another stitch right there. So that's two. I need to add two more. And three. Okay, I just need to add one more. And four. Awesome. Okay, and just continue to put one single crochet in each space to the end. Okay, last space. We're going to put three single crochets. One two, three, turning our work. 
Now remember, whatever stitch count you needed to add on this side of the blanket, you will need to add the same number on this side of the blanket because I didn't need to add any stitches on this side. I don't need to add any stitches on this side either. Okay, so all I'm gonna be looking for is my rows. Right here was my first single crochet, so I'll go to the next row. Oh, I see my first single crochet, half double crochet, cluster bundle bunch right there. I'm gonna go to the edge, put one single crochet. Okay, go down. Oh, there's another single half double. Follow it to the edge. There we go. Okay, and oh, single half double. There, go down, single half double. Just one on the edge. Okay. And continue all the way down across this side. Okay, so when you reach this last space right here, we already have one stitch. This right here was our connecting stitch, then our chain one, and this is our first official single crochet of the row, okay? So if we only have one official single crochet of this corner, we need to add two more because each corner should have three single crochets. So one, two, and then we're gonna slip stitch in the top of the third, just like that. And that cleans up our entire first row of our border, guys. Okay, so the first row of our border is the most important because it really sets up the entire pattern of, of this border. It makes sure that we have enough stitches to make this border possible. And that's why we have to know if we need to add any extra stitches or not. Okay, you never want to subtract because then your blanket itself will squinch in. It's okay to add a couple stitches to help it flare a little bit. You're never going to add so many stitches that it's going to ruffle. You're not going to need to do that. So, but don't subtract. You're always going to want to add stitches to make this possible. Okay, for row two of our border, Go ahead and slip stitch into the next space. So we're getting out of the corner pocket here. We want to be in the first stitch of this row. Okay. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. You're going to skip two spaces. So skip one, skip two. And in that third space here, we're going to put two double crochets, two chains, and two double crochets in the same space. So we start by yarning over, inserting a crochet hook into that third spot, yarn over. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's your first double crochet. We will do that again, same spot, two, chain two, one, two, and two more double crochets in that same spot, one, two, great, okay, now skip two spaces. So skip one, skip two. In that third space, you're going to put one double crochet. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, two, two. Great. Okay. So you got your little cord and shell. Ah, oh, so pretty. Okay. So skip two, one, two. In that third space, Put your shell, your two double crochets, two chain twos, and two double crochets. One, two, chain one, 
chain two, and one, two, skip two, so one, two, in that third, you're going to put one double crochet, boom, like that. Okay, so you got your double crochet, skip two, shell, skip two, double crochet, and you just keep repeating the pattern all the way across your row. So next would be a skip two, one, two, shell in the third, so two double crochets, two chains, and then two double crochets, two doubles, two chains. Two doubles, boom, skip two spaces, double crochet in the third, okay guys, we've reached the end where we just made a shell, we want to skip two, one, two, in the first single crochet of your corner, you're going to put one double crochet. In the second chain of your corner, you want to put three double crochets. One, two, three, okay? You want to skip the third single crochet of that corner and you're going to put one double crochet in the next space. So skip one, next one, double crochet. Okay, and now you're going to continue doing this pattern on this side. You're all set up. So you just got your double crochet. You're going to skip two, one, two, and that third, you're going to make your shell. One, two, chain two, and two more double crochets, one, two, okay, two, or skip the next two, one, two, double crochet in that third, great, okay, skip two, one, two, make a shell, Skip two, one, two, third space, put one double crochet, and continue this process all the way down the side of your work now. All right, guys, we've reached the end where we just made a shell. We want to skip two in the first space of that three corner. We're going to put our double crochet. In the second space of our corner, we're going to put three double crochets. One, two, three. We're going to skip the third single crochet of that corner. And in the next space, we're going to put one double crochet. Great. And again, we are all set up for our pattern. So skip two. One, two, and the third, we're going to do our shell. Two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. All right, guys, again, we've met that corner, finished our shell, skipping two, one, two, first single crochet of the corner, putting a double crochet right there. In the second single crochet of the corner, we're putting three 
double crochets. One, two, three. Okay, we're skipping the third single crochet and putting a double crochet in the next space. Just like that. Okay, and again, we are continuing our process. Skip two, one, two, and putting a shell. Then skip two and one double crochet, repeat. Okay, guys, we're at that corner again. Skip two, double crochet. Second single crochet of that corner, we're putting three double crochets. One, two, three. We're skipping the third, and we are going to slip stitch into the second chain of our chain three. So one, two, second chain, and slip it all the way through to connect, okay? Just makes a very clean connect. And there you go, you have just finished row two of your border. Let's move on to row three. So with row three, we're gonna chain three, one, two, three. In the chain two spot of our shell, we're going to put another shell. So in that spot, we're going to yarn over, insert our crochet hook, one double crochet, two double crochets, two chains, and two double crochets. Great. When it comes to our double crochet spots, we're actually going to put a front post double crochet what you're going to do for that is yarn over, come in the side of that double crochet, okay, the side of it, yarn over, pull through so it slides behind it, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Great, and then it has a very front facing stitch right there, okay? Okay, now we dive right into our next shell. One, two, two chains, two more double crochets. Perfect, looks just like that. Okay, the next space is a double crochet, so we're gonna do another front post double crochet. So go ahead and yarn over come at the side of that double crochet, yarn over, pull through. So now it's behind the stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Great, perfect guys. Okay, and then just continue about this pattern until you get to the corner. All right, guys, I've just made the last shell of this row. I found my corner. So in that first double crochet before the three double crochets, I'm gonna do my front post double crochet. Right there, through two and two. Okay, I'm gonna skip this space right here, skip this first double crochet. In the second double crochet, I'm going to put seven double crochets. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. I'm going to skip that third double crochet that was part of the three. So skip you. In this first double crochet, I'm going to do a front post double crochet. So come in from the side. Here we go. Perfect. Okay, and repeat the pattern. So on the top of the shells, we make another shell. One, two, two chains, and two more double crochets. And on the top of all the double crochets, we're going to do a front post double crochet. Okay, and repeat. Okay, guys. I've reached the chain or the three double crochet corner right here. I just did my front post double crochet in the space right before. Got my three, one, two, three. I'm going to skip my first double crochet. In the second double crochet, I'm going to put seven double crochets. So one, All right, go ahead, going to skip the next double crochet space in this next double crochet space. So I'm skipping that one, moving to this one, doing a front post double crochet, coming from the side. There we go. And shell on top of shell. front post, double crochet. Perfect guys. Go ahead and repeat this pattern all the way along this side. Put my front loop double crochet right there. Okay. Next space I'm skipping. Second space of corner, putting seven double crochets. seven, skipping next space, front loop double crochet in the space right here. Great. Okay. And then repeat the pattern guys, shell on top of shell. Awesome. Okay. So we're going to skip this space right here. Second space of corner, we're putting seven double crochets. One. Seven. Skipping this next space and we are slip stitching into the second chain of our chain three spot. So one, two. There we go. Awesome. Okay, we just finished round three. Or row three, let's go ahead and move on to row four. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. Okay, go right into the shell. So two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to do another front post double crochet on top of our other post. Great, just continuing that post on up. Okay, next is a shell. So doing another shell. Okay, and then po front post double crochet. 
and continue this all the way till we get to the edge. Okay, so we just finished our last front post double crochet. We're at the corner edge of this row right here. Here's how row four is a little bit different, okay? So in this next space, we're putting a regular double crochet. So yarn over, insert your crochet hook on the top of that double crochet. So you have the two loops on the top of your hook right there. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, there we go. Got your post and your regular double crochet. In the next space, you're putting another front post double crochet. Okay, so we're gonna yarn over. So this one right here was lined up. So the second double crochet, you're gonna come in the side of it, pop it forward, yarn over, and pull that yarn through so it's sliding behind that second double crochet of that corner, okay? Gonna yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So now it'll be front post, regular double crochet, front post, and then you're going to skip the next one and put seven double crochet in the second one from there. So skip one, seven double crochet in the next. Seven, okay? Skip one, front post double crochet, Side, yarn over, pull through so it's got that slide be behind that stitch. Pull through two, pull through two. Next double crochet is a regular double crochet. Just on the top right there. Okay, the first front post, we're going to put another front post to go along with this front post stitch just like that, right into our regular pattern of shell, front post, shell, front post, all the way to the other corner. So go ahead and continue our pattern and I'll meet you at our next corner to do the process over again, okay? We got this. Okay guys, we have reached the other corner. We did our first front post double crochet to just line up this front post double crochet line. The next stitch is just one double crochet, a regular double crochet right there. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and front post double crochet. There we go. Okay, and you're back to your pattern. Shell, front post, shell, front post, all the way across, and I'll meet you at this corner. All right, guys, we have met up with our corner, so this is the first front post double crochet. Back on the side. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Got that build up, that front post. Next stitch is a regular double crochet.
perfect guys you will see this gorgeous pattern already develop here and go ahead and dive right into the pattern we already know the shell front post shell front post and i'll meet you at the last corner all right so that was our front post next stitch is our regular double crochet a regular double crochet okay and then we are ready to slip stitch in the second chain one two two complete row four boom oh it looks so good okay so guys we are now on our very last row of the entire border so this is where you could choose to color change if you want to don't have to i'm going to go ahead and color change just to show you what you would do, so I'm going to cut my white yarn. I'm going to yarn over and pull through my loop and pull tight. And that's just my slip knot right there. I'm going to grab my color number two. I'm going to slip knot. Perfect. Okay, go ahead and attach your yarn in the middle of your corner. So you go one, one, two, two, three, three, boom. You are the middle of the corner. Okay, so go ahead and slip stitch into that. Great. Chain one, and you're going to put five half double crochets in that same corner spot. So yarn over, insert your hook in that corner spot, yarn over, pull through. You got three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. That's one half double crochet. Yarn over, same space. Yarn over, pull through. Got your three loops. Yarn over, pull through all three. There's two, we've got three more to go. Three, four, five, great. Okay, in the next three spaces, you're gonna put one single crochet. So one, two, three. When you come up on that front post double crochet, you're going to put a front post half double crochet. So you're going to come in the side of it, yarn over, pull through. So you got the sliding going on from behind the stitch. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. Great. Okay. So then the next stitch is a regular double crochet. So you're going to put one single crochet on the top of that guy. The next space is supposed to be a front double, front post double crochet. So we're going to do a front post half double crochet around him. All three at the same time. There you go. When you come up to the shell, you're going to put one single crochet in the top of each double crochet. So one, one. Inside the chain two spot, you're gonna put three half double crochet. Yarn over, insert your crochet hook in the big space. Yarn over, pull through. You got your three loops. Yarn over, pull through all three. So there's one, we want total of three. So two, three. Okay. One single crochet on the top of each one of these doubles. One, one. Okay. Front post double crochet gets a front post half double crochet. 
all three. Okay, shell, so we have one single crochet, one single crochet. Inside the chain two spot is three half double crochets. One, two, three, one single crochet, one single crochet, front post half double crochet, all right, and then keep going guys, you got this, Okay, we've come up on the corner. <clears throat> the first front post double crochet gets a front post half double crochet. So pull through all three. Next space was a double crochet, so that just gets one single crochet. Next was a front post double crochet, so it gets a front post half double crochet. Great. We're going to put one single crochet in the next three spaces. So one, two, three. In the fourth space, we're going to put five half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Great. One single crochet in the next three spaces. One, two, three. Front post half double crochet. Single crochet. Front post half double crochet. Awesome, guys. Look at that corner. Isn't that great? Okay. So, again, back to our pattern. With the shells, you got two single crochets, one, two, three half double crochets, one, two, three, two single crochets, one, two, and then front post half double crochet. There we go, repeat. Great guys, okay, front post, half double crochet, single crochet, front post, half double crochet, single crochet in the next three, one, two, three, and we started with the five half double crochets, so we just have to slip stitch into the first Boom, right like that. Grab our scissors, cut off our yarn, yarn over, pull through, and you're done, guys. You have completed the border. All you have left to do now is weave in your ends, clean up all of your work, and you are done, guys. It's beautiful, great job. All right, guys, that's it. That's this crochet border. I hope you had a fun time crocheting with me today. If you did, please push the thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. If you like this video, you probably will also like these videos right here. And also check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I always love crocheting with you. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you with my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>